solar vloggy jujubes uh today we're taking tappy to see a vet so i'm gonna vlog that and can you see how i butchered my my veins look it's like what is with this piece okay wait look i'm like i'm like this now okay what is with this random lawn piece wait a sec <laughs> just some more um quarantine madness <clears throat> i was trying to be like isla fisher indefinitely maybe but she has bangs that are like here and somehow i cut them way high way too high up and it's fine it'll grow out it's just i have sort of almost like a fringe nail or something not really <laughs> but i'm going to go do my makeup in a second after breakfast and i'll just bring you along for the day i don't know if i'm gonna be able to like film the vet or anything depends on what my comfort level is once i get there and if i feel like i can pull out my camera or not um but i'll try to get interesting footage i don't know no promises oh by the way i wanted to tell you i switched from adobe premiere pro to davinci resolve and i made a longer intro which i will play soon and yeah i'm like the reason i switched actually is because i would i couldn't find a star wipe in adobe premiere pro and that very much insulted me so i had to switch to davinci resolve and i found out that davinci resolve is actually free which i didn't know it was free like, I can't believe I never knew it was free before, but when I found out it was free, I was, like, all in. I was like, wow, this is, like, more advanced than Premiere Pro and more luxurious and free and has a star wipe. So, Adobe, I'm sorry, but you need to up your game and put the star wipe back in. <laughs> because, yeah, I, I was really looking for a star wipe because stars are my favorite shape. Five point stars. Ooh. Oh, I thought I saw a person walking a cat. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think it's a, probably a dog. Anyway. <clears throat> yeah. Star wipes are very important. I don't like any of the other shapes. Like, why would I want a diamond wipe or a square wipe or a circle wipe? Ew. Ew. So, yeah. Only stars for me. Yeah. And that's the moral of the story. Tappy, Tappy girl. Meow. Meow. You don't know what's coming. Tappy, look at the camera, please. Where are your green eyes? Okay, so I just finished my makeup. I did it kind of like natural-ish. I did mascara this time, which it's been a long time since I wore mascara instead of false eyelashes. I just wanted to show you some perfumes I bought. You know how I was looking for vegan perfumes? Well, this one is from the brand Nest and it's called Wisteria Blue. I think there's like a lawnmower outside. And it's cruelty free, but they're not like a fully vegan brand. And this one is Juliet Has a Gun, which is vegan. And apparently it's from like the grandson, like the person who made the company is like the grandson of, um, someone famous like nina richie or something i don't know someone <laughs> okay wait let me google it okay yeah the juliet has a gun founder is romano richie great grandson of nina richie yeah great grandson of nina richie okay there we go this one is vegan and cruelty free and i got pear ink and it kind of smells like i think this is the one i'll wear today i put on a sweater a turtleneck because like i thought it was going to be really cold because it was so cold this morning but now the sun came out and like this is what the weather always does here like it just changes on a whim so i guess i'll wear flip-flops to like make up for my sweater if that is how it works anyway i'm gonna wear pear ink because i think it matches with my uh, my top but 
The hair ink kind of smells like a pear shampoo or it just reminds me of like being in China for some reason because I feel like in China there's like this pear, artificial pear shampoo scent on a lot of people for some reason. Um, so it, that's why I really liked it. It really gave me this nostalgia for Shanghai. And it comes like, it's like a roller but it actually has like a spray which I really like. It has a spray um, tip. So you can actually spray it instead of roll it. Ta-da! And I put it like inside the box because I googled it and I was like, how should you store perfume? And the internet said that you should keep it in a dark place and that you should keep it inside the box that it came in because the box is conceals the perfume from and keeps it away from the UV rays so I'm doing that with these two the other the only other perfume I have right now is like this like lip gloss slash perfume and see how it's all yellow it's probably because I didn't like store it properly but it's very Hollywood Michael Kors and also the fact that it's really old but yeah this is my only other perfume so I have three right now so yeah that was fun yay I am excited about those. It helps to like have a little something that you're excited about when you're getting ready because then it makes it more interesting, like a new product to make it more interesting when you're getting ready in the morning. And also lately I've been using like these like, these are not vegan products, but there's like, they're from my aunt. They're like whitening products because <laughs> I don't know, for some reason I'm feeling like I need to get paler or something. I don't know why I feel that way. Um, but yeah, this one is like an SPF 50 and it's Sol Wasu Perfecting Cushion Brightening. This one is like a Shiseido Maquillage, maquillage um, which also has SPF in it. So I've been using these because I've also been using a lot of sunscreen lately just to see if that will help my skin because I've been getting like sunspots and like age spots on my hands so I've just been like getting more into the, all the SPF products that I currently have the other ones that I have are these ones which are vegan Sunbum and natural mineral sunscreen from the Green Beaver company SPF 27 for some reason, all the products that come from Asia have such a higher SPF, like, you know, this one is like 50, and this one I think might be like 26, so it's not as high, or like 30, but anyway, the uh, Asian beauty people are on top of the SPF stuff. I also got this, like, pamphlet from Sephora talking about SPF, which was funny, because I was, like, really interested in SPF and they gave me this pamphlet so the universe is also thinking about SPF at the same time I am I suppose this combo looks a little strange hmm I don't know maybe it can be a fashion statement yeah there's a lot of like cracks in the mirror as you can see that we taped up. But yeah, this looks really weird, but I'm just gonna go with it. Because <laughs> this is what I wanted to wear. These are the shoes I wanted to wear. It's been so long since I wore heels. Now we are on the way. Happy? She's inside the backpack. She's looking up. So we just weighed her and she is 9.9. .9. How do you feel about that, Tappy? <laughs> I 
Okay, so Tabby's inside here, inside the backpack again. And we shot her up. She got some shots. <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> Tabby. Yeah, maybe the shots don't hurt her because her thin is her her skin is so thick. <laughs> yeah. Well, Did it hurt for you when you got your vax? Only for like a second. Only when it goes in, it doesn't hurt. Yeah, after. I think it hurt when it went in. She was like, she when it went in, when the needle went in, she was like, mm. she was like, <laughs> her face expression. <laughs> This one was more we like are... white and white and clean looking. So that was exciting, wasn't it, Tappy? So on the scale, it said Tappy was 9.79 pounds. So like 9.8 if you round up. Tappy is having her dinner. Wow, that pizza is so good. Anyway, I am going to end the vlog here. Zai vloggy. Zai Honzao.